how can I make my code much easier and simplify my design just removing what I don't need. In today's video, let's explain when you can remove interface in your code. Hello everyone, my name is Otavio Santana and welcome to my YouTube channel, the channel for you who wants to become a better software engineer, understanding better the code design, software, architecture, software perspective. So if you want to become even better senior staff in architect, subscribe in my channel. Every time I talk with someone, especially younger than I, they usually complain about Java, okay? Java has a huge verbosity. And then I do some code review. And yes, we're not able to blame Java in everything. In reality, sometimes we enjoy to do over engineering inside our code sign. The classic example is when we do have over number of interface. We do have unnecessary interface on your case. So let's create a scenario where I have one interface and one team implementation. For example, credit card. So what I usually do is, okay, I need to create a credit card service. What can I do? I will create a credit card interface. So let's create string payment and then I will create this implementation here and that starts the 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 trap we usually go to okay I have no idea about this, this implementation name especially because I will have a single implementation to this interface and when we do have any kind of thing like that it might be a first sign that you don't need this kind of interface so usually people do any kind of thing like this credit card and then payment on something like that right so one single implementation one single interface and the question is why? Why should I have anything like this? When I talk with some people, they usually talk about the future. But come on, we are not capable to do and see the future. It's much easier to refactor in code than see the future. Okay? My recommendation in that case is eliminate this, this unnecessary interface. And as I said, the first sign is, okay, I put some useless name like credit card implementation. So in that case, it's much better to convert this class to, this interface to a class, and then put the implementation over here. This way, I will save a interface. I don't need it anymore. In some case, that is exactly what you need for your code. Another scenario is the facade where I do have my service and it, it works basically as a daily layer. So let's create a scenario. So I have my person from my previous video. So I usually have my personal repository. I do have my person, person service that usually is the interface by the way, but as you mentioned, it's wrong. So if it does not make sense to be an interface, go to the class, simplify. The build of soft design is the simplicity. It's not the number of layers. So. I do have here, so you might inject the person repository. On that case, you can define a constructor. So let's put some public uh, um, payment, something like that. So a string payment. 
and then my repository where you find a person by ID or something like this. And finally, I do have my logic here. Return. And then I have the facade. Right? What's wrong? So person facade. And again, usually it is an interface, but as I said, you don't need it. And then I do have my person service here that I will inject. And what I'm gonna do, I will call the payment where I'm calling the service. So basically, what am I doing here? I'm just have this layer to call a previous layer. So it is a data layer. Why do I need to handle with that? Just to increase complexity? Come on, remove when it doesn't make sense. Okay? So sometimes you can go to repository to controller. It is fine. Just create things when you really need. Don't try to see the future. We are soft engineer. Okay? That's all for today. First, avoid interface when you don't need it. For example, this scenario here where I do have credit card. A good scenario to use uh, interface payment, right? So imagine that I do have payment. And this payment, I can have credit card debit card, I can have several things like this. So transfer, uh, Bitcoin, and so on. So on that scenario, it is makes sense to have one interface because I'm gonna have multiple implementations, credit card, debit card, transfer, and so on. Another scenario, not. Another point that I explained to you, avoid the layer. So I just have a layer to call another layer to call another layer and I can remove class like this. In general, when you go to some classic old design style, we can remove like four or 10 classes to a single operation because we are creating something that's no need. Hopefully you got an idea. Please put your thoughts, your opinion about that. So should we, should we go to see the feature it doesn't make sense to create interface. And that's all for today. And see you around.